In this scenario, we are looking at propane storage tanks where a fire has been extinguished and the area is safe to enter. Let's go through the steps of resetting an electric deluge system equipped with a VXD deluge valve. Let's start by closing the water supply control valve. While this isn't required, we are going to silence the alarm panel. Press the silence button on the VFR500 release control panel. Now you will need to drain down the system. So let's open the main drain and wait for the system to drain. Once all the water has drained from the system, you can close the main drain. Before reintroducing priming water, you will need to repair or replace any detection devices that have been damaged and close any open drains. Now the release control panel can be reset. Resetting the release control panel will take power away from the solenoid valve, allowing it to return to its normally closed position. This means prime water pressure will start to be re-established in the priming chamber. While this isn't required, we are going to silence the alarm panel. Press the silence button on the VFR500 release control panel. Once priming pressure is re-established in the priming chamber, slightly open the flow test valve. Then slightly open the water supply control valve. Once water flow has been established, close the flow test valve. Opening the flow test valve purges any water from the inlet chamber of the VXD valve. Now fully open the water supply control valve. After the system water pressure is restored, any alarm panels that were activated will need to be reset to clear any active alarms. Excellent, the system has been placed back in service. 